Hello everyone, it's Carrie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my last of my top five series, which is going to be dies today. I've got five types of dies that I really use the most that I wanted to share with you guys and just explain to you why they're my favorites. So I'm going to go ahead and jump right on in. The first type um, is um, obviously frame dies. Um, well, frame dies, as y'all know, are really, really popular, especially since I feel that um, they've been around for a while, but ever since Mama Elephant came out with their um, fem frames, which is um, not this one here, but these two here, which is the, the stitched um, uh, inner, inner, I say the inner part, <laughs> um, which is less than the, it's, this is almost... Um, the size of an A2 size card, not quite, but it just leaves a little bit of a border. And then this one obviously fits um, right on inside just perfectly. And it's and it's uh, one of those die sets that really takes the guesswork out of um, making a card. If you really want to make a card really, really quick, but you want to make it look like that you spent a lot of time doing it, I really, really do like these dies for that. And it's, in it, like I said, it takes the guesswork out of measuring or whatever. All you gotta do is die cut your panels and, you know, just make a really cute, simple design on this one here. And then frame it behind a piece of cardstock on the scallop frame and then you're good to go and just place it onto an obviously an a two size card base so um this one i used the most um whenever i first got it and it seemed like there for a long long time several months in fact that whenever i was making a card i could not i could not make a card without using these dies. They're just great. So um, I highly recommend them if you do not have this set um, and you've been thinking about it. Um, it is one that I really do think that everyone will enjoy and, and if you've got it you know what I mean. So that was my that was my first one that I really really do love. Um, the, the second one is the uh, large and small set of the Lawn Fawn stitched rectangle stackables. Um, you get, let's see, one, two, three, four on each one. And of course, all of these intersect with each other. They enter, um, all of them fit one and right on side the other. But you can do many, many th great things with these frame dies. It's, it's great. Um, so, and of course, again, it seems like it just takes the guesswork out of creating your frame. And you can build scenes with these. I mean, you know the possibilities are endless with these stitch rectangles dies uh, on the same long line as that is the stitch squares I love the both obviously the small and the large sizes and I really do like making square cards because it is something different and it just makes the card um, I don't know it's just a nice different size to put you know to send to someone or I don't know. I just like it. I, it's kind of hard to explain why. Sometimes I just like to make a square card over a obviously an A2 size. Um, it just looks a little bit more, I don't know, cleaner. I don't even know if that's the word I'm looking for, but uh, I just like the size. And so I was really happy that they came out with the square stitched. Of course, everybody and their mother, as far as stamp companies, it seems like that they're make, coming out with frame dies. Obviously, uh, MFT has got different types, you know, with the stitched and the, and the different stitching and the pierced and, and all that. And because they're just really great, you know, popular dies. So um, I'm, I've been obsessed for a long, long time. So that's my first type that I really, really enjoy. The next one is um, kind of like a shaped die. These are the uh, Simon Says Stamp. I don't have it labeled, but this is, these are the Simon Says Stamp Balloon dies. And this one is bigger, or as big almost, as my hand. And this one makes a really great uh, focal point for your card. You can just, um, you can actually make shaker cards out of this big um, one. Just put put it on your card or even make a card itself with just this big size um, because it, it is big enough to be, make a uh, shaped card out of so that's really really fun and of course you've got one two three four five dies in this one as well and you can go from obviously the littlest size and um, make different scenes or whatever and I like how they included one of the 
it's like the middle size if you will um, it is a circle balloon so that's really fun too and you can do cut out the cut these out with out of masking paper and do mask masking techniques um, you know like I said do shaped cards you know use them as a focal point or whatever so many many different things that you can do with um, these shaped dies are really really fun so I highly recommend those as well the next one is um, I guess word dies um, I really do like these from the ones from Lawn Fawn the only one that I don't have currently is the one that says love I don't have that one but I have all the others up until this point they are bringing in another one I believe it says cheers um, but I have all the other ones and I really just do like the font it is really such a whimsical and fun font so and they're really good you know pretty good size too for your cards as well so um, so I, I hope to get the um, I don't know if I'm gonna I would use the word cheers a whole lot um, but I do want to get the word love and add it to this one of course it would obviously um, round out this collection here on my little uh, magnet sheet here but <clears throat> so I really really do love all these dies are really really fun and great for your cards and um, the next one I have is this one from Simon Says Stamp this is the hugs die I've done several cards with this hugs die um, and I just love the size of it as well as well as the font almost the font is almost almost the same as the summit or the uh, lawn fawn but just this slightly different but I just mainly love it because of the size and uh, you can do big um, in fact I have a card here that I will show you guys I actually made this one last weekend and I entered it into the Flickr summon says stamp challenge but um, if uh, it is I don't know if it's still going on or not maybe um, but it's the Flickr challenge for the summon says stamp over there is um, the current challenge is <clears throat> excuse me white um all white with a little pop of color so um i just did uh, several different patterns of the um embossing folders that i have um and just layer on top of each other and then i used this die here um i had a scrap of stuff that i had made this was on some watercolor paper and i had embossed it um with a wood grain die or excuse me wood grain background and uh, and then I did some coloring over it and I was going to use it for a different card but it didn't turn out the way I wanted but I just I didn't want to scrap that piece so I used it to die cut the hugs um, sentiment out of it and then I just applied some um, oh, uh, fun foam on the back just for a little bit of stability or whatever so I think it turned out pretty cute so I entered that into the flicker challenge but anyway, so uh, I just wanted to show you the size of it. If you don't have this die, you could kind of see how what the size of it is on a card. So that's really fun. And I just bought this one as well, but I know it's going to be one of my favorites. This is the friend, friends, friend die. Um, I really already love the stamp set. Um, this is the stamp set from Mama Elephant. I just got done making a card with it as well. But this is the friend our friend indeed stamp set and i absolutely love this here it's one of my it's going to quickly quickly becoming one of my favorite stamp sets but i wanted to get the die as well and it's pretty much the same size i believe yes it's the same size um the font is not uh, quite as thick i don't think but um but it is the same font so um i know this is going to be one of my favorites as well so that's why i'm including it in the video so I'm happy to have that too. All right, and the next die I have is this thanks die. This is um, one that Lucy Abrams uh, created for Clearly Besotted Stamps. And this is intended to, you could don't have to use it for sugar cards, but that, I think that's the main thing that she intended it to be used for. But you cut this out um, in the middle of your panel and then um, obviously put acetate or whatever and you've got your sentiment um, already built into your shaker if you will so and I don't have an example to share with you um, but I'm sure that if you google it or whatever you, you could definitely see um, some examples of this and I know uh, my friend on here on YouTube uh, who is Michelle Short I'm sure most of you know who Michelle is she whenever she was doing the product um, 
uh, review of the whenever this came out she really made a great card with it as well so um, if I can find it and link it I will link her video uh, down below just to give you some reference on what this looks like on a card so uh, anyway so this is uh, a really a fun one too um, I want to get another one uh, eventually but I don't know which one I want yet so anyway so that was a great one too just for fun shaker cards and then the last is um, border um, dies which these, these are still all connected together I try to um, I haven't used these yet but because I just sold my I had another one that from mama elephant that I had and I liked this one from lawn fawn the best because it had more options but these are great obviously for um, little hillsides or to make you know um, diff well different hillsides or snow hills or whatever so it's a it's a great um, die set to create scenes with as well as this one here um, also from Lawn Fawn for clouds and I also had one from Mama Elephant that had a cloud um, border but I like the the options in this one as well the different I guess choices that you have in the cloud uh, shapes so um, and I don't I don't need I don't need two different kinds or whatever you know the one is just fine with me so so that's why I got rid of the Mama Elephant one and just stick with these two from Lawn Fawn. So anyway, so that is my favorite dies that I have really been loving lately. So anyway, that like I said in the beginning of the video, that concludes this video series. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Um, I really uh, do enjoy all of your feedback on it. I hope to do another one soon of some different products that I've been loving at the moment. Um, please subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you on my next video. Thanks so much for watching.